today I will give you the best updated controller settings. These are the settings that I hit Unreal with. And with these settings you're not gonna miss a shot. My aim is absolutely crazy with this sensitivity. And you can also have fast edits and good piece control with these settings. And these settings will work for anybody who plays on controller. So let's get into some gameplay and the settings will be after the gameplay. 100. Full piece? Oh my god. Bro, that was clean. That was clean. Hey, bud. GG, bro. One more. Hundred? Oh yeah, you're dead. GG, bro. Oh my god, 185. One more? Yep. This guy's 1 HP. Look at this guy. 185. I'm not gonna even move. GG! Yo, this deagle is crazy. Dead. Aimbot? Yep. It's a 1v1. This guy's stuck in zone. 50 Full beast Um, hello? Yo, <laughs> this guy was lost, what the hell? Two hundred Chop this guy out Aimbot I didn't hit a shot. 20, two piece. GG. Bye bye. 1v1. One one. This guy's AFK. Yo. What is this guy doing? 100. He's like one. Bye bye. Or get out, man. Get out. Aimbot? 1v1 one one. Hundred? Nah, you're dead bro Yep, let's go Nah, come here Yep. Cracked. Full beast. Bro, this is there. GG. Pre fire. Yep, let's go. So easy. Full beast. Hundreds. Oh my god. Hello. 
killed this guy with the NPC. Little beast. Oh my god, I'm crazy. Alright, so for my settings, starting off with the video settings, window mode, you want to play on full screen. My resolution is on 1080p. Turn off VSync because it gives you more input delay. I play on 240 FPS because I play on PC, but if you play on console, make sure you have 120 FPS. This way you have better frames, it's way easier to play, and you have less input delay. For my rendering mode, I play on performance mode because it gives me the least input delay. If you play on console, don't even worry about it. My brightness is on 105%. I don't use colorblind and my user interface contrast is on 1. My 3D resolution is on 100%, my view distance is on far, textures on low and mesh is on high. This is pretty basic and will give you good performance. For my audio settings, this is nothing special, I just turn down music, dialogue, cinematics so I can hear the game clearly. My sound quality is on high, background audio turn that off and make sure to turn on visualize sound effects so you can see the footsteps on the screen. And for my voice chat settings, this is nothing special. If you want, you can copy them. For my game settings, first off, toggle sprint, I have that on. Auto open doors, I also have that on. And my mantle is on hold to jump, and hurdle is on press to jump. Combat settings, hold to swap pickup, turn this off. Toggle targeting, also turn this off. Mark danger, you can leave this on. Auto pickup weapons, I don't like it, so I have it off. And for my preferred item slots, I have the shotgun in the first slot, assault rifle in the second, my third and fourth are unassigned, and the fifth slot is consumables. You always want to have the shotgun in your first slot. For these four building options, have the first three on and the last one on both. Auto confirm edits on release can just make your editing so much faster, like it's such a good setting to have it on. So turn on auto confirm edits if you play on controller and want to edit faster. Now for these extra game options, just make sure to turn off Nvidia highlights so it doesn't record highlights in the background. Tap to search interact, have that on. And these FOV settings, put them both on max. And turn off all the replays to reduce input delay. Replays will give you more input delay, so turn them off. Also turn off these energy savings if you play on PC. But the replays, you can also turn them off on console. For my HUD settings, these are my HUD settings, so if you want the clean HUD and big damage numbers, copy these settings right here. And my HUD scale is usually at 70 or 75%. And all these extra settings, if you want, you can copy them. Also, make sure to turn off all the gyro options to reduce input delay. And also, if you didn't know, if you have gyro options on and you use gyro, it actually removes aim assist. Playing with gyro has no aim assist, so definitely turn off all the gyro settings. Okay, so moving on to my controller settings. First off, build immediately, turn this on so you can build faster. Edit hold time and slide hold time, make it as low as possible. Reset camera axis, put this on both and make it as low as possible. And definitely turn off vibration because it can mess with your aim and your edits. Quick weapon settings, keep this on custom only, that's gonna be the default settings in Fortnite. For my sensitivity, I use a build mode 2.1 and edit mode 2.2 with advanced options. And my look and vertical speed is on 37%. This sensitivity is not that fast, but it's also not slow, so you can have good aim and good peace control at the same time. And I don't use any boosts or dampening time. And my ADS speed is on 9%. And with this sensitivity, you can laser people. And of course, I play on linear, linear is the best, and aim assist strength on 100%. And for my dead zones, I play on 7 and 8% right now, but I have no stick drift. So if you have stick drift, just make it a little bit higher. And all these extra settings at the bottom don't really matter. They're for rocket racing. Okay, so for my keybinds, I'm gonna go through all of my keybinds. I play right hand claw. So if you want to learn claw, these are the perfect keybinds. Or if you play claw, these are perfect for you. I jump with X, I edit with triangle. These are pretty standard claw keybinds, but they are super good if you can learn claw. So yeah, if you want my keybinds, just copy them. And before this video ends, thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate it. We hit 600,000 subscribers, so we're on the road to 1 million. And yeah, thank you guys for all the support. It's actually insane. So that's gonna be it. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.